long time since I posted an update for the 2D platform controller. But I know a lot of people have been having trouble with 2D animation and I also have a much easier to use animator in Platformer Pro so I thought I might put that into 2D PC. So I've done that and submitted it to the store and this is just a quick run through of how to change your animations to use the new animator. So this is the alien sample using the old animator. The first thing I'm going to do is remove that animator and add the new animator which is called animation bridge. Drop that onto the character. The first thing we'll do is assign the character. So it works for both 3D and 2D physics based characters. So let's hit 2D in this case. And then we list the states that we want to handle. So let's say we want to handle all the base states. So idle, walking, running, sliding, airborne, falling, and I'll add jumping as well. Now we need a slightly different controller and this is where most of the ease of use comes into it. If we go to the current controller, we'll see it's quite complex with transitions and, it, and things like that. What we can do now is I'll duplicate this controller actually it's probably easier to just start from scratch excuse me oops And all we're going to do is add states with the same name as the animation state. So for example, if we want idle, we add idle. If we want walking, we add walking. Then we just drop the animations onto those states. And then we'll need some states for jumping. Airborne. Falling. That's all the states I was handling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's change the animator control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should be all we need to do to play. We're walking, jumping, idling. Oops, missing. You get the idea. So, if we wanted to add crouching in there, we simply create a new state, make sure the name matches, drop in the animation and then set another value in this list. There is also a priority state list. This is for animations that you want to ensure uh, play out to completion. So for example, if you have a damage animation, you might want to put that in there so it's not interrupted by other animations. So let's hit play now and test that crouching.
There we have it. Super easy animation in 2D with the 2D platform controller.